guys and welcome to a new video. So today's video I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite places around Manchester. Today's video is a paid collaboration with IQ Student. As you guys know my university experience is kind of finishing now which is kind of sad but I am quite excited to move on to the next stage kind of in my life. Um, I thought I'd show you some of my favourite places in Manchester that I have discovered over the past five years and also some amazing things that IQ students have in their accommodations just in case you're thinking of moving to Manchester <laughs> it's a great city to come to uni at um, so I thought I'd show you some of their kind of like student accommodation all the things that you can get with it as well as some of the best places that I have loved throughout my five years here bowling alley which is so exciting I would have absolutely loved to have had a bowling alley at uni when I was in halls so it was a great way to make friends and just have fun so we're going to see that now and I will show you it so we're currently downstairs in the social space um, so down here is bowling alley we've got a snooker table table tennis table like an entire seating area and also these like amazing pods where you can sit with your friends and like just chat catch up um, so yeah it's really really cool in here so we're gonna have a little go at the bowling alley and some table tennis etc and I'm gonna show you inside these pods now I, I wanna live here I know. <laughs> Um, so this is the, it's called Pod 2, but it's literally so cool, so there's like a TV on the wall, you can sit in here and chill with your friends, but it's such a good social space, and then literally come out here, and up here is the bowling alley, so we've got the little seats here, some bowling balls, and then an actual bowling alley, how cool is this? I was just saying to them that I feel like it would be really good in first year, you're doing halls, start make friends. It would literally like, be the best because it would be Freshers' Week. I know, and you're just all, all playing bowling. Right. So, yeah, literally amazing. Got these seats here, and then down here, there's more seats, and you've got a snooker or pool table. Not the greatest when it comes to uh, snooker and pool. Um, some seats here. Pool. It's pool, it's pool. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got table tennis table over here. Like, I would have loved to have lived here in halls and any other time, really, of uni. I feel like it is so right cool. Now. Yeah, well, I'd live here right now. <laughs> Let's just move out of where we are and move in here. Um, but yeah, it's literally so, so cool in here. It's also open from 9am until 10pm every day and then I think on Friday and Saturday it's open until 11pm so fabulous, you can literally just come home rolling in the evening with all of your new friends uh, I feel like it's such a fab time so anyway, we're going to go and play some pool now um, I'm actually quite good at table tennis so I feel like you know, I could be quite good at that one So after playing all of my games we're now going to head through to the cinema room and see what that's like I feel like this is so cool because like going on a little tour of the accommodation and basically just want to be back in first year so that I can move in. And yeah, we're just going to look at the cinema room now. I want this in my house. I want this in my house. There's a PlayStation controller. Oh my god, it's there actually. So you could definitely play. What else can I say? Is this just in our own private cinema? We're living our best lives. Best lives. <laughs> it's so comfortable. <laughs> So we've had a look at all the areas downstairs, so we've gone to the games room, the cinema, and where did we go at the start? The social area? Yes. Um, so we went to all of those, and then we're going to have a look at our room now as well, so I will show you that. So I feel like a lot of people really like to see what halls are like, and you know, if you have never been to uni, or if you're like... 16, 17 and kind of looking to go to uni. Uh, I feel like it's always good to see loads of different types of uni rooms. So we're going to show you it now and you can kind of like get a feel for what a room looks like here. I the gym area, which is literally amazing. I love, like, I don't know, everything's so modern um, and everything's been done to such a nice standard. So there is two treadmills here, some benches here, a really good selection of weights, which normally you don't have. Hi, not really in my gym wear right now. Um, and then you've even got these, which are, I think these are slam balls 
or are they medicine balls? I don't really know what. They're medicine balls. Medicine balls there. Um, then you've got, is this a cross trainer? Yes. Yeah, cross trainer. Um, then there's some mats to do some stuff on the floor, some exercise balls, and then you've also got, you know, multiple machines here. Um, foam rollers um, but yeah there's so much for you to be able to use in here because I feel like sometimes in like a gym that you get an accommodation it's just literally like a treadmill and a bike um, whereas actually in here there's so much better kind of equipment I just think everything's done to a really nice standard it's lovely um, and I'd feel really comfortable in here kind of working out like it's really nice I think also as well you'll be able to definitely have more space to yourself rather than going to like a mainstream gym where there's all kind of like people from work and you know mums and not really kids but you know what I mean like families um, whereas in here everyone's kind of like the same age everyone's got kind of like the same purpose everyone's just living here and chilling so it's really nice to be able to like have the gym to like share with you all if you know what I mean uh, but yeah honestly it's so lovely in here. I've got a show on Sweet Flat to show you which is so lovely so inside you have got a mirror here and then a cork board which is on the wall a lovely rug on the floor so gorgeous i love these colors a uh, little radiator and then you've got the bed over here the um, a bed as well. yeah a double bed majority of halls or any kind of student accommodation you're not going to get a double bed so it's amazing that this has got a double bed and i like the fact that it's got this little like shelving bit at the end it's lovely um and then obviously you've got your window uh loads of plugs which is always great um, and then here you've got a matching, it like all matches like all the furniture. So you've got a matching desk, chair, and then you've got these shelves which are so pretty. And then inside here, you've got a wardrobe. Um, so you've got a rail and you've also got quite a lot of like shelf space which is so good because even in my uh, wardrobe this year I didn't have that much shelf space. Um, and then we have the ensuite. So we've got a shower here which is gorgeous, I love the grey tiles. We've got a toilet and a sink, cute little mirror, no, <laughs> cute little mirror, little shelf up there. I think it's like the little things, you know, towel rail, it's the little things like all the shelving, etc., that you get like included rather than having to bring yourself. The storage space with all the drawers is just so lovely and the double bed <laughs> makes such a difference to have a double bed. Also, we were just chatting to the lovely lady that is showing us around and she said to us there's a real mix of people in loads of different years. So there's like quite a few postgraduates, there's quite a few first years, you know, second and final year, which is like amazing. So it's not just first years if you are thinking, you know, that you'd quite like to live here in your final year or postgrad. It's just really nice to be able to have all that difference. I'm going to show you the kitchen area now and the living room because it's literally so, so nice. It's very similar to like kind of theme to the bedrooms. So this is the living area, which is gorgeous. It's so much nicer than any living areas I've ever seen in kind of a student accommodation flat. So this is the sofa, which is so nice. I love all the gray. We've got a fruit bowl here, a little coffee table, TV in the corner. I just love all the colors. They're so nice and nice and modern. And then you've got a nice breakfast bar, which I think is so cute. Four little, um, what do you call them, stools. Um, and then obviously you've got your plates, etc. And then here you've got the full kitchen um, and it's literally so, so nice. It's just so pretty. I love all the colors. It's really nice as well because um, they've got like good window spaces. Mine was like quite, I don't know, not that much windows um, in my bedroom, etc. But yeah, it is so nice in here. Feels very homely. Um, yeah, it's lovely. So this is a flat. I don't know how many flats are in this one. I'll go and have a look now. I have no idea, but um, it's just really nice. Love it. Um, so yeah, the nice bedroom, nice modern kitchen and living room, which I think makes such a difference. So we're just outside the accommodation now. So this is the outside of the building. Um, you can just see my eyes. Um, just that, you know, in the flat that we went into, so it's a four person flat, which I like is a really nice number. That's exactly what I had when I was in halls. Um, and then there is a studio as well. So it's a self-contained studio in the flat as well. So it's five people overall and four people that share the full kitchen. Does that make sense? So this is the outside of the Warehouse One accommodation. So this is what it looks like. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous old building. Um, so it's just here. Piccadilly train station is literally just there. Um, so you're so central. It's just a really gorgeous building. I've literally just fallen down the curb. Uh, don't do this if you come here. 
But yeah, we're just gonna go inside and have a look at our flats. Inside here, they're all self-contained apartments. So one and two beds. Uh, so we're gonna have a look inside now, so I will let you know what it is like, uh, but very excited. And yeah, anyway, the train station is literally there. And if you come this way, that way takes you like into city center, doesn't it, like that way? Yeah, so it's literally the end of that road is the Arndale Center. Yeah, so that's like literally that way. So you're so central, such a convenient location. Um, and literally, so this um, IQ accommodation is warehouse one. Then we've got the one that we were literally in is the next building there. And then over here, sorry, I keep turning round. That is warehouse two. So you can literally, they're so close to each other. Um, but yeah, amazing. This is the communal area outside the flats. They're all self-contained flats. We're just going to have a look at one now. So we've just come over to Warehouse 1, which is another IQ student accommodation. This one, however, all self-contained flats. They are amazing. We're just in one now. I'm going to show you it. So this is a full one-bed flat, kitchen, living room, separate bedroom, and a toilet. Well, like a whole bathroom. There's a bath and everything. Um, and so they have one bed and two beds mirror here as you can see um, and it's such a gorgeous building it's like an old-ish building that's been made new so with lovely like history and things in it it's been made modern and literally it's gorgeous we're quite shocked <laughs> um so yeah so this is what it looks like um so in here you've got the bathroom so you've got toilet and sink here and then you've got a full bath, which is such a difference. Um, and obviously you've got a shower as well in here. Amazing, you know, to be able to have a bath. Heated towel rail. Um, and then there's a cupboard there. And inside, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> It's this inside there's this uh, bedroom um, with a massive wardrobe which I'll show you in a second. The desk, um, a cork board, window, um, you've got bedside tables and then inside the wardrobe it is literally huge um, and then a big kind of sliding doors um, and then <laughs> we've round here, <laughs> closing the way again, um, round here we've got a living area which is big I think, there's a really really nice L-shaped sofa, uh, cute, person. yeah for one person or like a couple, like so lovely, um, so then you've got this little kind of I don't know TV unit I guess, um, lovely like pillars and stuff. And then in here you have got your kitchen, which is like lovely grey colours, really nice and like a really good size. Um, and it is gorgeous. <laughs> I would live here, um, like in a heartbeat. So you've got a fridge here, um, you have got a washing machine, and then you've also got a cooker as well, and hob, microwave, toaster. It is literally so lovely. You could put your own stamp on this. The exposed brick is so nice, the massive windows. I just feel like it's absolutely amazing. I want this flat. I want this flat. <laughs> Why didn't we know about this? And then what's in this cupboard? And the then, oh, just the boiler in here. Maybe a bit of storage space, just pan and brush. Um, but it is so, so lovely in here. This is the outside of Fairfield House. Uh, I've kind of half showed you this before. It's such a gorgeous day today in Manchester. Uh, but this is the outside of the building. I love these lovely buildings in Manchester. Um, you know, kind of red brick, they're gorgeous. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get into the car now and we're gonna head over to the Trafford Centre and pick up some bits for Bradley's birthday. My car here. I'm gonna pick up some bits for Bradley's birthday, head over to the Trafford Centre and reminisce on how lovely that flat just was. So we've now just come to the Trafford Centre. Uh, we've driven here, um, as you would have seen. Um, always kind of like drive to the Trafford Centre because it's like hard to get here um, any other way. Oh god, we're walking in the middle of, uh, of cars. You can get a bus. You can get a bus from Shepherd Road. Um, and also, they're getting a tram here. Now, um, I don't know when it's arriving. When is it arriving? Like the end of this year? Yeah, there's going to be a tram from like the centre of Manchester all the way out to um, Trafford Centre now, which is amazing. Uh, but yeah, I love the Trafford Centre. It's one of my favourite, favourite shopping centres. Uh, the food court is amazing, which is where we're going to be going. We're going to go and get some lunch. Then we're going to go to Pizza Express. It's one of our most loved restaurants because they always have a really fab deal on. Um, so I don't know what I want, but I am so hungry. Um, I think I'm gonna obviously get pizza, I'm contemplating getting pasta, pa pasta, pasta. Um, but yeah, I think I might get myself a pepperoni pizza. And yeah, just walk in here now. It's very exciting. And it's literally my last time in the Trafford Centre for a very long time. So I know, it's so sad. My last time, so. Yes, I'm very excited to visit for the last time. It's the most beautiful shopping centre. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's the most gorgeous shopping centre. There's palm trees, loads of greenery, um, lovely, lovely glass ceilings. It's just so pretty. Did you know it's based on the Kremlin? Oh, look at that. Fun fact. I'm full fun of fun facts. Fun you are right full now. of fun facts. Yeah, it's got amazing shops in it. It's just the best shopping centre. And it's big, but it's not like too big that you can't walk around anywhere, basically. And I've just spotted that there's a new Typo store. Look over there. I love yeah. Typo. Oh, love so, yeah, we're going to go into the food court, which is this way, if you've never been to the Trafford Centre. It is the just the absolute dream. You can tell that I really, really love the shopping centre. So, over here in the Trafford Centre, there is the Shake Lab. And this is the most amazing milkshakes. Um, salted caramel milkshake here is one of my favourite, favourite, favourite milkshakes. So, I would definitely recommend going there if you are in the Trafford Centre. It's literally just so gorgeous. Never seen a food court like it, to be honest. Um, some lovely restaurants. I've never even made my way through all of these restaurants. Felt like I, no, felt like that should have been a thing. So in here is based on a cruise ship. We've got all the seats downstairs. We've got all of like the smaller, kind of like, I don't know, what would you call the restaurants downstairs? Quick service. Yeah, they're like fast food. So yeah, fast food. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, they have like a, a takeaway Indian downstairs, fish and chips, Harry, Harry Ramsden's, Five Guys, all the good ones. And then up here, you've got more like restaurant types. Um, the yeah, they've got the arcade downstairs. They've also got a cinema over here. They've got an Odeon. Um, and they've also got Adventure Golf here. So there is so much to be doing um, in the travel centre. But yeah, so we're just heading over now to Pete's Express, which is the other side of the ship over there. I'm very, very excited to so eat. To start, we've got some dough balls. We've also got a, was it strawberry lemonade? I think sure, it's still strawberry lemonade or raspberry. Uh, we've all got dough balls, water. Um, and we've also um, just done a survey online to get our dough balls for free. So definitely if you're coming to Pete's Express, do that, because it's a great thing, like if you're obviously a student and you want to get some free food, free dough balls in Pete's Express. If you fill in the survey, just ask one of the people. But uh, yeah. I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. So we've just got our pizzas. This is the carbonara pizza from Pizza Express and basically they used to have this on the menu, then it went off the menu, then it went back on the menu and now it's back off the menu. However, they'll still serve it. Like if you ask for the carbonara pizza, they just uh, give it with ham and not pancetta. So it's like a cheese base, um, like a creamy base, not tomato, an egg in the middle, um, ham, you know, all the cheeses. Um, and then Soph has got the padana. You can still keep cutting, don't you worry. It's like a caramelized onion. Uh, what else have we got on there? Cheese. Goat's cheese. Just the dream. It's a great pizza. And Claire has got, can I can please say it? Because I can't remember what it's called. The vegan giardineria. <laughs> Or something. It's definitely the, not pronounced. She's like got that. the Ligera one with the salad in the middle. But you can have it non-vegan with actual. Meat. Yeah, Claire's having it with normal cheese. She's like, she'd like to point that out. It's the fact. <laughs> she likes the normal cheese. But yeah, these are our pizzas, and we're gonna get eaten. And we're just walking to Piccadilly Gardens, which is in the centre of Manchester. It's a lovely day today, really, really nice weather. So it's a lovely bit of greenery. There's a really, really nice fountain. Um, it's just really nice to like sit and have a little chill. So I'll show you what now. We're just gonna have a little oh, sit down and uh, let our food go down, basically, because we have pizza. And then we're gonna go to Teacup Kitchen for some cake. And Can that's the, the plan. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I probably need to get some sunglasses on my head as well. It's so so. Hot. So anyway, we're gonna have a little chill here, uh, and then go and get some. I, have, like, I don't usually have headaches. I sit in the and lay down. I've loads of headaches. Why me the sun? Yeah, also the energy. Yeah. So in my first year of uni at Piccadilly Gardens, they actually had like a big wheel, um, you know, like a London Eye, but in Manchester. Uh, they used to have one of those in this park. It was obviously you mean a Ferris face... wheel. No, it wasn't a Ferris wheel. So they had one, they had one here, um, and I went in it on, in first year uh, with Bromley, and now they've like rejuvenated, or not rejuvenated, like got, basically they've made the park loads nicer, and it's now like a big water fountain, which unfortunately is not on today, so I'll show you what it's like, lovely grass, there's like some restaurants, there's just a pine there, there's a pine this way as well, a pine there, there's loads of shops, and 
they're literally the centre of Manchester. We're in Warwick, this is the centre of Manchester. And there's like some you know, the big shops and stuff beyond them and stuff like over there. Um, it's just a really nice place to like come and chill, catch the breeze, uh, feel nice and relaxed. So, yeah. Um, I really, really, really want a smoothie or like a juice or something icy, basically. So I'm excited to have one of those in Seagull Kitchen. But yes, this is my second place in the video that I would recommend coming. Um, I think it's just really good because you can just pop here um, before actually going anywhere else in the city centre. Um, and then you can pop to Seagull Kitchen because it's like the best place ever. I've loved it since first year. Um, the cake is just incredible. Um, but yeah, and just, it's all just great. So yeah, this is my second, second recommendation. So we're just heading to Teacup Kitchen now. So Teacup Kitchen is in the northern quarter in Manchester, which has loads of cool like restaurants and shops. I will show you a few of them when we come out of here, but it has some really cool places, um, like really cute, like fashion-y, like edgy kind of shops. It has some really cute restaurants um, and cafes and stuff. And it's just a really, really nice area. Even just to wander around like on a Saturday or something, it's really nice. Look at that sunflower on my face. Um, so anyway, yeah, we're gonna pop in here now, a cake and a juice or smoothie or milkshake or something icy um, and also I'm staying at my favourite place until last so make sure you watch the end of the video because I'm very excited to show you the last place I've mentioned it so many times in one of my vlogs um, and videos about Manchester but I've never actually shown you it so stay tuned until the end and the last of my five recommendations in Manchester <laughs> However, here are our cakes. We got the flourless chocolate cake. Um, I said I'd show you when it came. This is it, but kind of a bit mangled, not gonna lie. Uh, but it is the best cake ever. What would you two give it? 10 out of 10. I'm not even a big chocolate like lover, and it was like, tips up. It was 10 out of 10. See, even they loved it. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so it's just such a great time. And I also had this watermelon fizz drink, which was so nice, but there's a tiniest bit left ever. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have a smoothie? Which has got nothing left. And so there's water, there's a bit left of that. I've done so. Look. Yeah. And we've got two little boxes to take our cake home with us in because of the fact that we could not eat it all. So now we're gonna go bowling, so hopefully we can, you know, feel a little bit less full. And, um, and do better than we did earlier. Yeah, because uh, IQ student accommodation and bowling alley, me and Claire were not great. Maybe so will beat us. Yeah, probably. Yeah. We've got the bumpers up. Yeah, we're going to have the bumpers up. Yeah. It did tell us that um, under 10 years old, over 10 years old can't have the bumpers up. But we're um, gonna yeah, we're going to we're gonna protest. Anyway, there's the cake and we will show you us bowling. So we're now just heading to Dog Bowl, um, which is like a bowling place, but it's like a cool bowling place. Um, I don't know, it's like quite cool for people. I don't know, about you. There's only three lanes. Yeah, there's like three four lanes. lanes. Four lanes. Four lanes, you can have like drinks, it's and you can, yeah, and you can have like food and stuff, rather than it being like temping bowling, which is nothing wrong with temping bowling, but um, that I feel like when you want to go out with friends and More go like bowling, yeah, like a date or like go out with friends like and have drinks and stuff it's just really nice um so we're gonna go ahead there and hopefully i'm gonna win um and do some good bowling uh and then we're gonna head at the end to um the font bar which is on oxford road which is one of my favorite favorite things in the whole of manchester i love it and i loved it from the start of first year i discovered it and there's like two pound cocktails in there which is just amazing when you're in first year and um yeah and then now i still love it i absolutely love it and i'm very very excited to show you guys and the amaretto sours 
there are my absolute favourites. They're two barrels and I love them. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to show you guys that at the end of this vlog. So we're heading there now. We're just, grab, we're just getting an Uber just because we've already booked our bowling. Um, so we're going to get an Uber there um, and then we will walk from there to Font because it's literally around the corner. So I'm really enjoying showing you my favourite places in Manchester. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Um, and yes, yeah, so we will head to Dog Bowl now. On a Wednesday, it's not that busy, so uh, by the weekend, you definitely have to book. Also, as an FYI, it is 50% uh, off for students all day, every day. So, three pound per person, so it is so cheap, like so cheap. Because some places go to like cinema and bowling and stuff now, it's just so expensive. Like, you can pay like 10 pound for a ticket. So, yeah, three pounds, you can come here, play bowling. Um, it's like a really nice food bit that I'll show you now. So, we don't really drinks in here, cocktails and stuff. So, yeah, it's just a really fun thing to do, just like for an afternoon, like, you know, while you're at uni uh, with your friends. This is the food area through here. So, you've got like little booths, just tables, there's a bar over there. Um, yeah, it's just really nice that food, they do a loaded fries, you know, all food like that. And then through this glass here, you've then got the bowling on this side. So it's a really nice place to come. Um, I really, really like it while I've been at uni. Uh, I think it's just a really fun thing to do. You know, when you're just revising all day, then you can come here and have a bit of fun. So we've now finished in Dog Bowl, uh, player one, by an absolute mile, uh, as you saw. And we're just going to Font. I'm really excited to have my probably last ever for a very long time, Amrit so Sawa in Font. But I don't think we're gonna have time in graduation, you know. We're not. We're, we're definitely not. We're not, not gonna have time. Fun. No, <laughs> we're not. So, um, yeah, really, like, it's sad and emotional having my last one. But any of you that come to Manchester for uni or that live in Manchester, you can have one for me um, because they're just and my favourite friends. Don't, because they're actually <laughs> disgusting. Claire hates them. It's the worst Claire part absolutely of hates Amrit Sawa's. Yeah, yes, uh, yeah, sir. Um, but Don't yeah, do it. so dog bowl and fun are like so close to each other, so we're just walking between here um, and we're gonna go and get an amaretto sour. Well, I am, <laughs> I am, <not laughs> Glad to get something else. No, they have uh, um, the one that's a solero, solero, oh, that that's, the one. that's a good oh, one. That yeah, is me. yeah, the best yeah. One yeah. Is <laughs> they can't like see any of us. It so. does, yeah, it's amazing. And I think that one's only two pounds as well, it isn't is. it? Yeah. So the font is just here, just off of Oxford Road in Manchester. There's some uh, construction work going on right now. We're just going to head inside and get a cocktail. So um, this is the cocktail menu, so cute. And then they also do a late night happy hour in here now, which is two for one of selected cocktails, which is incredible. Because they're like two fifty anyway on that's Fridays. On oh yeah, and there's amaretto sour on the deal. Um, so that's on Fridays and Saturdays. So and then they have two pound fifty cocktails. My amaretto sour is here. Uh, then there's classics, three pound cocktails, and then these are the font favourites. Very disappointed to see that my amaretto sour is not on the font favourites menu. And Claire. There's a reason for it. <laughs> I say there's a reason for it. The Solero is. I thought that was two pound though. It's not two pound, but you know, four pounds is still not quite bad <laughs> for a cocktail. Um, but yeah, it is so nice. I think they also have one of these in Leeds. I don't know where else they have one. Maybe they have one in Liverpool, but I don't really know where else they have one. But yes, I'm very, very excited. But I'm sad it's gonna be my last. One.
So I've just walked home and got back to the house. I have had the best day. I have really, really enjoyed myself. I had such a nice kind of like last day in Manchester, going around all of our favourite places. Um, and like, I don't know, just reliving kind of the past five years at uni um, and kind of going to both of the IQ student accommodations was so lovely. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, especially going to the warehouse one. I feel like it was amazing to like the self-contained flat and stuff. So I just want to say thank you so much to IQ Student for working with me on this uh, video. I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, I feel like it's been such a lovely one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it too. Um, if any of you are thinking of going to uni in Manchester, please leave me a comment down below. Go and check out all of the IQ Student um, like links that I'm going to pop below for you guys uh, because I feel like you guys would love the um, you know accommodation. Obviously, you saw it at the start of the vlog, but go and check out their links down below. Uh, but any of you are thinking of like coming here for uni, please leave me a comment i will you know give you some advice feel free to message me um on instagram or whatever if you've got any questions about uni life or anything like that like the fact that i am leaving now i need to relive it through you guys so yeah like feel please feel free to kind of like drop me a message or anything um but yeah thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope you have enjoyed it as much as we have uh it's been such a lovely day so please give me a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it um, i would really really appreciate it um please leave a comment down below as I've mentioned, let me know if you've gone into any of the places before that we went to in Manchester. And I will speak to you next time. Bye.